In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up PCB design constraints such as trace width, trace spacing, user interface, via and plane settings, and component clearance in the Allegro PCB editor. It is crucial to set up these rules before designing to avoid any violations in DRC. To establish the rules, open the tool, hover on Setup, and select Constraint Manager under Constraints. The first parameter to be set is the trace width. Go to Physical and then open All Layers under Physical Constraint Set. Now select Default and right click and choose Physical C Set under Create option. You can now name the set as per your requirement. For now, let's name it Normal Signal. Once the name is set, click OK. This creates a new set. Here you can specify the maximum and minimum line width. Usually maximum line width is 12 mils and minimum line width is 8 mils. Next, let's learn how to set the trace spacing value. First, open Constraint Manager. Go to Spacing from the left side menu and select All Layers under Spacing Constraint Set. Now right click on Default and choose Spacing C Set under the Create option. As we saw earlier, you can create a new set here and name it Normal Signal. Once you create a new set, you can define the spacing between one object to another. In this case, all the spacing values have been set to 8 mils. Next are the steps to set up user interface. It is basically specifying a path. First, go to Setup and then User Preferences. This brings up the User Preferences Editor window. Click on Library under Paths and choose Pad Path. A new window named Pad Path Items pops up. If there are any old paths, they will be displayed here. You can remove these paths by selecting and deleting them. To insert a new path, click on the New Path button right next to the Delete option. You can now choose the folder where the design files are saved. Once the path is set, click OK. Similarly, you can set PSM path and step path. Just so you know, the pad path is used for the pad. PSM path is for importing netlist and footprint, and step path is for the 3D step files. After setting up these paths, hit Apply and select OK. Next, we will set up the VIA routing settings. Go to Setup and select Constraint Manager under Constraints. Move your cursor to Physical and open All Layers under Physical Constraints Set. Now, click on the VIAs that are present in your dataset. Please ensure that you have selected the VIA cell corresponding to the normal signal data that was created earlier. A window named Edit Via List will pop up. If there is any old VIA data present, you can select and delete them by clicking on the Remove button. Next, you need to select three VIAs, a maximum size, a nominal size, and a minimum size VIA from the database. Maximum size VIA is named VIA22H10. Double click on the VIA to add it to your VIA list. Similarly, we add a nominal size VIA, VIA 20H8, and a minimum size VIA, VIA 18H8. The nomenclature of the VIA signifies the VIA pad size and its hole size. For instance, VIA 22H10 has a pad size of 22 mils and a hole size of 10 mils. Once all the VIAs are added, hit OK. Now we will move on to plane settings. For this, go to Setup and open Cross Section. You can now view the stack up on the Cross Section Editor. As you can see, the outer layers are conductors and the inner layers comprise plane, conductors, and dielectric. This layer of information will be reflected in Constraint Manager. To view this, navigate to All Layers under Physical Constraint Set. The conductor layers are visible under Conductor, and the plane layers can be seen in the Plane section. 
You can change the connection style as the planes are assigned with a specific shape. The parameters of different forms can be altered by following some simple steps. Select Shape Open Select Shape or Void Cavity. Click on the shape and open Parameters. Now choose Solid or X-Hatch in Fill Style. Pick an X-Hatch style like Horizontal, Vertical, etc. For this design, Solid Style is selected. Click Apply and OK. Now we will look into the steps to set component clearance. First, you need to open Setup and select Constraint Manager under Constraints. Next, go to Design for Assembly under Manufacturing and click on Package to Package Spacing. To define a new standard, you need to click on the plus sign here. A small window will appear asking you to name the set. We will name it as New. The DFA spreadsheet format for package to package spacing is side to side, end to end, side to end, end to side. A pictorial representation of this arrangement is shown here. In this design, the default spacing is set to 10. If you would like to change the spacing standards, you can edit accordingly. You can select the package from the available ones by clicking on Browse Symbol on the left side bottom. Once all the packages are selected, click on the right arrow and hit OK. Now the spacing standard is applied to all the packages. You can check out our tools on our website like Trace Width Calculator to compute trace widths, temperature rise, and maximum current. Thank you.